Animal prints have a long time been a wardrobe staple for stylish women. I, for one, have been wearing them for years. Today, I'm gonna show you some of the latest and greatest pieces that I've found in stores, how to style them, and where to get them. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. It is Friday and it is Fashion Friday and I am so pumped to see you guys. Today is actually one of my favorite videos. I had so much fun going to look for pieces that are out there right now that you can buy. I am talking about animal print. One of my favorites is leopard print. I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of leopard print in this. There's also snake and zebra and a bunch of other animal prints out there. Leopard is my favorite, so that's the one I'm gonna show you. Before I get started on this video, just remember if you like these videos to hit the subscribe button down below, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let's get into the video. For look number one, I was walking through Topshop yesterday. I saw this jean jacket on the mannequin and I was immediately drawn to it. Number one, because I'm obviously talking about animal print and it's leopard print. Number two, because I love leopard print. Number three, because it's edgy and I love things that are edgy. And it's like oversized and really relaxed for fall. So I love that. So I've styled it with a bit of a rocker edge that's kind of my style with a graphic tee that I found. This tee is by Day, um, Daydreamer out of LA. I will leave a link to this tee below or at least to that website. And I've thrown it on with a pair of black orchid jeans. These are ripped. They're my favorite. They're a high-waisted jean. I wear them all the time because they're super soft. And a pair of my a Nin Bing cowboy boots. I've had these actually, I think for five years, you might not be able to get these exact ones, but cowboy boots are massive this fall. It's a huge trend. So this is how I would style this jacket. If you are not as edgy as me and you want to style it a little more classically, a plain pair of black or gray jeans would be great. I'm saying that because the jean jacket is blue. A plain white tee, a plain black tee. You can style it with runners and booties. A really fun piece to have for fall. The price point on this jean jacket is under $150. And so I think for someone who wants a little bit of leopard in their wardrobe, this is a fantastic piece. It's not that expensive. It actually will carry you into fall, spring, summer. It's got a lot of longevity. And you can style it in a much more conservative way where this is the edg edgiest piece you're wearing. I love it. Fantastic piece, easy to style. So for look number two, I was in Hudson's Bay and I saw this t-shirt and it caught my eye and I was literally whipping by. And I was like, oh, that's an awesome shirt. So I threw it on and it is so soft. I don't usually wear shirts that go up high because I have a larger chest, I like to have a V. I really like this one, it's cute. It's actually um, not too long, it's not too wide. It's a perfect shirt to throw on. So I've styled it as like an everyday look. So let's say you're um, a stay-at-home mom, you got some errands to run, you're going to get groceries, you're gonna get your kids at the bus stop. That's me. So I've originally just styled it like that. I've kept my black jeans on from the last look. I added a new pair of runners that I just got when I was in Manhattan Beach with my daughter. I grabbed these, I absolutely love them. They're a staple for your wardrobe. I threw it on, this is a basic look. So you just throw on your purse, crossbody, black, whatever. But I will show you another way how to style this if you would like to dress it up. Here, I've actually added a leather jacket and tall booties to elevate the look to go from day to night using the same casual leopard t-shirt. So just start to think of those things, the ways that you can wear one item. For look number three, welcome to this year's it bag, the belt bag, AKA the fanny pack. Totally reminds me of the 1970s and again in the 1990s, a completely functional bag. The reason I picked this is not only is it this year's it bag, but it also was animal print. That's right, that's what I'm talking about, animal print. It's snakeskin-ish, it's not real, obviously. Um, I found it at Topshop, but I thought it was really cute. And I have to admit, I was uh, going to a concert a couple months ago, and I only had like my small wallet on a chain. I was like, I don't want a purse, and I don't want it like a crossbody. So if I had had this, then I would have thrown this on. You throw your cell phone in, your money, whatever. It's awesome. Same thing if you're like bombing around town, but look for one that looks right for you. But again, this one's a total steal. It's from Topshop. It's the right shape, and it's in vogue with the print. I love it. Here's a few pictures so that you guys can wrap your mind around the fanny pack. 
give you some inspiration. I don't know, maybe you've always wanted to wear a fanny pack but just never done it. Now's the time, especially the belt fanny packs. They're so awesome. So I just threw on a plain white t-shirt and a long black cardigan because the belt fanny pack kind of is a bit of a statement. I've just kept everything else really casual. But again, literally you can throw it on with anything. It's a super statement and you're gonna look super stylish. The fanny pack in snakeskin. For this look, I couldn't help myself. I found this leopard print dress again at Topshop. I just loved this dress and I'll tell you why. Because you could put heels on and it can go into the office. I can take the belt off and I can wear it with runners. I can also dress it up with booties, which is what I've done. It's just a very, very workable dress. It's a great piece. You have to be careful with wearing full body cheetah or like a dress that you don't want to look like a cougar because it can have that tendency to make you look a little rough maybe a little old if you are an older woman so you have to be really careful but i thought this was a great piece again it was from top shop and it has so many possibilities it did come with its own belt which i actually took off and i used my own belt from aritzia i just thought it dressed it up a little so you can throw on some runners use the belt that it came with and run around town casually in it or you can put on a pair of black pumps wear it to the office throw on a black blazer such a multi-purpose piece this is a size two i'm a five five so you can see the height, it's hitting me above the knees. So it is a shorter piece, and if for you, you're a taller woman and you would still like this piece, make it like a tunic, put it on with a pair of leggings. So black leggings, black boots, super cute. Great piece. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed these pieces and the way that I've styled them. I think it was a really fun segment to do. Like I said, animal print is absolutely everywhere. I've showed you leopard for the most part, besides the bump pack, fatty pack but um, because it's my current personal favorite and it just seemed to be everywhere. It was literally surrounding me. So anyway, if you guys like this video, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which was your favorite piece and if you found some awesome leopard pieces, let everyone else know down below so that they can check them out. I will leave links and I always do leave links in the description box to every piece that I am wearing in each video so you can check that out. And I think that's it. I will see you guys next Friday. Till then.